Hood Roast 9, Crispity Crackly Neighborhood Edition. First off, what's up with that chair? Why? By the garbage can? Why? And then, why that one? What are you doing over there with the seat? Yo, what happened to your mailbox, dog? What if we got mail for you, bro? Come on! Um, I don't know, bro. We gotta live here. Right next to the discarded, uh, right next to the discarded fucking, uh, this luxury manor. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Location, location, location. Honestly, that's not bad. Just shove it in a pile of rocks. I don't know about this design, bro. What the fuck is that? Yo, what is that, a grandfather clock style mailbox, bro? What the fuck? I've never seen anything like that. Yo, it's April, bro. I don't know about the icicles, dog. I don't know about that decision. Uh... I don't even know where to begin on that. TBH, it's kind of difficult to do these roastables by vehicle. For a couple of reasons, if you go to new, too nice of a neighborhood, there's nothing to roast. If you go to too scrumbly of a neighborhood, it's like you're poor shaming. Fuck! Yo, your mailbox is on the ground, guy. Why would you do, why would you do that? Yo, what's with the ground mail? Look how big that is. What are you getting an oil drum delivered to your to your mailbox, bro? Why is that so close to the ground? Why? Come on! Please let it also be known for the record. Yesterday was the number one watched Bobby Sausalito video ever recorded. So thank you so much. But now the pressure to beat that unsurmountable. I'm out here on the beat for you, driving around neighborhoods, clipping and clapping and spotting out mailboxes and looking for front yard blunders. It's a tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. TBH, I think I made a similar mistake as the other day. Took a left turn at the wrong turn. Seeing a lot of street side activity out here. I'm sure everybody's just selling Girl Scout cookies. It's funny, you'll be in a neighborhood and I'll be like, Nice mailbox, nice mailbox, nice mailbox, decent mailbox, decent mailbox, slightly scrumbly mailbox. Then just no one even knows if that's a mailbox or just a piece of trash on a stick. It's like that. How are you supposed to roast a neighborhood with any sort of consistency when it goes from elegant to scrumbletini in like a half a second? Yo, it's with these hedges, dog. Look at the tilt on that edge. Look at the tilt. Yo, yo, clean up your bushes, guy. Which we are all attempting to live here. Look at these edges, bro. Come on. Yo, explain this one to me. First off, come on, bro. Give me a little power wash over here, bro. Come on. You got, you're going to go high non-see-through, high rod, high fence, thick boy non-see-throughs down to the low boy spike thin boys with the high post? Come on. Yo, what's with these spike heights, guy? What's with the extra foot and a half? What's supposed to be up there? What kind of mix and match shit is this? Street side poop closet. All right, I'm back at Scrumbles HQ. I got a question for you, Skyston, the peanut gallery over there. How long do you think I should wait before the new neighbors move in, before I serve them up two and a half hours, 165 episodes of bad? Because I'm thinking I wait till they get a little settled in. I got a couple pieces of furniture in there. They got a little sign by the door that says, welcome to our little beach house or some dumb shit. And they invite me over for steaks by the pool and they're cooking it up and I see what cut they get. If we're talking New York strip, ribeye, porterhouse, or flat McDonald, <laughs> I'll give them a little bit more time to settle in, maybe polish up the video. But if they give me a flank steak or a bottom round, bro, I'm sending them all to poop it. They invite me over, we're having a nice steak by the pool, we're smoking a nice cigar, it's a beautiful night. Jeffrey and Janice are like, hey, here, enjoy your flank steak, Bobby. And I'm like, yo, funny you mention that. I got 150 videos of me in your bathroom. Our bathroom? What do you mean? Janice, I got 150 videos of me yelling in your bathroom, bro. What part of bathroom don't you under Stand, bro. What don't you understand? I'm in your bathroom. I'm in your pool. I'm in your poop chamber. I'm in your kitchen. I'm on your countertop, bro. You can't get away from me. I live right next door. Welcome to the name. Poop chamber yelled in there. Shower herring boned in there. I've touched every square inch. <laughs> I got nicknames 
for every square inch of your house. Your closets, your closet doors, your grass, your poop chamber where you cook your food, where you take a dump, where you take a shower.